of material. Is there one hand up here? And anybody else? And one over there up after that. Uh, Tim Lord from 3. Um, Victoria, you've talked a lot about um, consumers and competition. It's a bit of a parochial issue, but um, we both, op I'm 3 and Vodafone both, op both operate in Ireland. Um, if customers want to change networks in Ireland and keep their phone number, they probably wait about 20 minutes and their new operator can organize it quickly and efficiently for them. Um, in the UK, the process is two days, and it's a long and difficult process, um, which you know requires them to go back to their old operator. And I just really wanted to say to you, you know, what do you think is the best option for consumers? Twenty minutes or two days? <laughs> and you know, but, well, I've been trying. I mean, personally, I've been trying to negotiate with Vodafone UK to try and get a better deal and a more effective solution on MNP. Um, I can understand why Vodafone might want to keep not a very good system in the UK, but surely that's the kind of cross-industry, effective stuff that we should be able to do without having the regulator to yeah. intervene. Yeah, yeah. and unfortunately, you know, the way you put your question forces me to give you a bit of an aggressive answer. <laughs> and, and, you know, because I think you did a very unfair thing. You said, I understand why Vodafone in the UK wants to do this, implying uh, Vodafone in the UK is, wants to obstruct or hinder. Uh, the, and I have to tell you, sorry, you're wrong. You're bloody wrong. You're bloody wrong. The, the issue is not, and again, you're following a bit of a, if, you, if, I can, if I can say, simplistic view of things. For a consumer, of course, 20 minutes is better than two days. And I can tell you that one minute is better than 20 days. And uh, you know, if you can organize it by telepathy, it's even better. <laughs> the, the point is just, uh, what's the cost of doing it? And uh, I can guarantee you, and I, you know, I, don't know, I know nothing, as you would imagine, of, of the specific case. I can guarantee you, I don't think there is one single customer that has been obstructed in its will to go or do something. Now, the, the other point that we have to do is, what's the cost of doing things? Everything at the end of the day is about the cost. I personally believe that if you ask me my opinion, I think one, one day probably is more or less acceptable for a customer. Two days is, again, acceptable. Five days, as it was when we started in Italy, I remember the MNP introduction, probably was too much. Now, the differential cost between one day and 20 minutes, which I'm totally unaware of, to be honest, you know, I'm giving you a is not, uh, uh, is not trivial. We should sit down and talk about it. What I don't think I like of the way you put the question is this kind of me against you type of thing, which I think is wrong. I mean, it's, not, it's, not, it's just a battle of we have an amount of resources. Resources are finite by definition. Let's put the resources where it really matters for the customers. If it matters 20 minutes, fine. But if it one day or two is OK, and we better put uh, money on, I don't know, improving the quality and the speed of our networks, we should do that. But let's not have this kind of, you know, my advantage versus your type of, uh, uh, of approach. It's just a matter of where we want to design the future of our customers, and therefore where we have to put the resources to make it happen earlier. That's the approach I would really advocate.